Hey guys, it is Wednesday morning. I'm getting ready to go to class. Um, I already kind of got ready. As you can see, I got a little bit of makeup. I'm actually going to be presenting a project to the class. So, you know, I got to put a little bit of effort into my look because not that I just go to class looking like anything. You know, I wear simple stuff, big t-shirt, leggings, tennis shoes. I rarely, rarely like put on makeup, do a cute hairstyle, just, you know, I'm going to be standing up talking in front of the class about a uh, pectoralis major repair tear of the pectoralis major muscle. Sounds very interesting. So um, I'm going to pick out an outfit that's kind of like studious. Let me move you guys over here. Kind of pretty much already have an idea of what I want to wear. Um, I'm feeling the mood for a collar shirt. So this is the shirt that I had in mind. Got this from Forever 21. I've worn this in a, a couple vlogs before. You know, ain't nothing wrong with repeating the outfit. I'm here to tell y'all. It is okay to repeat outfits that you wear on Instagram. These influencers got y'all messed up. Don't just take a picture of something once and then never wear it again. But anyways, I'm going to pair this up with some cute mom jeans. What the heck? Is this pink on my collar? I don't even wear makeup. Oh well, <laughs> I had this outfit of mine. So you see what I'm talking about? It's like very, very light, faint pink. I don't know, maybe it's lip gloss. If anything, it's lip gloss because I don't wear makeup. All right, I'm gonna go put this on and pair it up with some mom jeans and I'm probably gonna wear some Skechers with this. So I'm fully, not, yeah, fully dressed. I got on my outfit. I am gonna be trying a different hairstyle. Another one, again, from TikTok slash Instagram reels, whatever you want to call it. So it's basically like one of those half up, half down, cute clock lips. But like she did something really cool to her clock lip thing. So I don't know. I'm going to try it out. And it required two rubber bands. I'm going to go ahead and take my rubber bands out now. Okay. Where am I going to put these? Not in my mouth. They taste good though. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna pull out these two strands. Anytime I wear these two strands in my face, I always usually end up regretting it because the wind be blowing in my face, but uh, I'm not gonna be outside like that day. So am I gonna back out of this hairstyle and not even do it? Okay, so next what she did, let me watch the video real quick. All right, so I'm back. I uh, rewatched the video and I'm fixing to get started. I'm gonna just slightly oof, spray a little bit of my got to be and just use that as something that's gonna slick down my edges. take this out and um what did she do this is going to be another ponytail but um i actually need to Okay, so this is pretty much the finished hairstyle. I think this is obviously a fail. Um, this bun, like how she wrapped her hair up in some type of, like a, to make it fan out like this. Her hair is a lot shorter than mine and my hair can't really do that. And it's gonna look really, really awkward if I try. So I just kind of just put it into a bun. You can't even see the little parts on the side. I mean, you can kind of see this one, but this was a fail. You were supposed to see the part like right here and you don't see it. So now I'm stuck with three. It took three tiny black rubber bands just to do this. Okay, so now I'm going to freaking regret it when it's time for me to take it out. You know how that goes when you take out them freaking black rubber bands. So yeah, the hairstyle was a fail. Oh, well, it is what it is. Um, Overall, it looks fine. 
and this is a, a fresh silk press you guys see how it does that like it gets oily like this silk press is less than a week old and it's always the front strands that start the oily process first anyways so i'm going to make some breakfast and continue to get ready and i'll see you guys after class when i'm doing something fun so this is the, the final look All right, so I'm home. I bought those Mighty Patches because I don't know if you guys, is this the ear? No, it's this ear. This ear, I don't know if you can see, but I have a black head in my ear that's been there for freaking over a year. And I don't know how to get it out. Like I've, I've looked at remedies and everything on you, no, on Google and everything. I have not come around to trying them. And I figured uh, these Mighty Patches, I see everybody be like using them on their face if they have a pimple and stuff so i'm hoping this can draw all the gunk from my blackhead in my ear because it's disgusting i clean my ears every day i clean them before i get in the shower when i do my skincare routine like you know i go in with the q-tip i don't go inside the ear canal um i just focus on like the skin part and then like, i clean my ears in the shower so don't understand why that blackhead is there for so long like gross I don't want people to look at me and think I'm dirty because my ear looks dirty because I have a blackhead in my ear. So it says absorbs pimple gunk, shield skin for faster recovery, results in six to eight hours. It is, what time is it right now? It is 101 o'clock. I'm going to put this on right now. So by the time it's time for me to get my shower, all right, I'm going to have to get in the mirror to put this on. These are my first time ever trying these out. I'll be right back once I have it on. So I have it in my ear right now. Can you guys see? So yeah, that's the blackhead I was talking about been there for a freaking long time it's time for that thing to go so i finally put the pimple patch on the thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna be doing these pimple patches every day if i can if it's safe because the main ingredient is hydrocolloid that helps i guess get rid of pimples and everything so yeah i'm probably gonna do this about every other day just to help draw out all that gunk from the surface let me know i think they have a blackhead type of patch i did not see it at the target that i was at so um, yeah, I'm going to see how I like these first. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. Hey guys, so now that I had some breakfast, I am getting ready to do some yoga. If you don't know, it is finals week for college. Um, I have exams coming up and I've been studying extra hard. Matter of fact, I'm on a break from studying and I was like, okay, let me do some yoga. I've been meaning to try some yoga actually, but I never really have time to get to it. I found a couple like YouTube videos, so I'm gonna get into it. I got my cute little yoga set. This is my, this is actually a crop top from Shein and then just some, you know, plain leggings. Okay, so I am finished with my yoga session. I just chose like a quick little 10 minute beginner type of yoga. It stressed me out more than anything. I was not relaxed. I felt like I was doing everything wrong. I was trying to get the cute little aesthetic angles for y'all, but it just was not happening. So that's why I only got like a little bit of footage. It was more so stretching versus the yoga type of poses. As I progress, you know, I can work my way up to that. I'll slowly start incorporating yoga into my everyday life, you know, once I have time, which I made time today actually. So I'm pretty excited. I did not come here for the Taraji P. Henson stuff, but I found this spray. As you guys know, I already have the um, vanilla one, but this one is the bergamot and orange, and it smells so good. It smells like laundry. And if you know, on my channel for a while, I love the scent of laundry, so I'm gonna get this one. I am at Bell's, trying to look for some face mask, actually, because my face is kind of breaking out right now. If I can find a sheet mask, I already know what I wanna do to my skin tonight. I'm gonna do a exfoliation to it okay so this is aloe for moisturization and this is for brightening turmeric and vitamin c i don't see anything for like what is it acne it's not acne but you know breakouts or whatever bacteria 
antifungal. So I am gonna end up getting the um, this one, the turmeric and vitamin C, because I didn't even see that it combats acne and soothes inflammation. And I just got finished reading the whole front and back. So I am gonna get this 